last week I uploaded a video about the new Lucky 7's bug that was found in Final Fantasy 7. Uh, long story short, if you didn't watch that video, which you definitely should, but long story short, we found out that if any enemy in the game has these health values, they will start doing 7,777 damage with all of their attacks until they take more damage. We already knew that enemies would enter a Lucky 7 state if their health was 7,777, but we did not know that all of these numbers also give them a Lucky 7's effect, and it's due to the last two bytes of each of these numbers being the same as 7,777. And I talk more about it in that video. But long story short, if any enemy has these numbers, they'll start doing Lucky 7's damage. And on that video, I got a comment that reads, I have a follow-up question. If someone sets Sephiroth's HP to one of those values and he does Supernova, would it be possible to kill you? Or does it always do percentage damage anyways? And this guy that responded, Reload PSI, this is actually the guy that originally made the post about the Ruby Weapon doing the Lucky 7's damage. Um, and he basically said, like, didn't see, but I imagine he probably does. Um, so I think I was thinking when I read this, like, oh, let me just uh, jump in real quick and use my HP MP mod and set Sephiroth's HP to one of those numbers and check it for myself. But then I thought, hey, instead of just doing that, why don't we make this into a little mini challenge experience? Let's go in and try to set up a party that will actually make this happen naturally without having to use the mod to change the enemy's HP. Uh, which, by the way, I got some comments on that video about the HP MP mod. If you're curious on that, you can check out uh, my site, sector48.org. It has a bunch of Final Fantasy VII mods on it, including the HP mod that lets you change enemies HP on the fly. Um, so check that out if you're curious on that mod. Some people are asking about it. But yeah, I thought, let's not use the mod. And let's actually just try to like set this up naturally in the game. Um, Cause it should be kind of an interesting puzzle because Sephiroth doesn't have uh, normal HP either. His HP changes based on how the fights with Synthesis and Bizarro go. This is how Safer Sephiroth's HP works. So for every character at level 99 other than Eris, he gets 30,000 maximum HP. And then if Knights of the Round was cast on Genova, he gets another 80,000. Um, and then every time you kill Bizarro Sephiroth's head, he loses 100. Okay, so his, his max HP, I, I believe if we have everyone at level 99, and we use Knights of the Round, I believe his max is 400,000. And then if we go back to this, uh, that means we need to probably shoot for the 335,457. 400,000 minus 335,457 is 64,543. That is the amount of damage we need to do. Uh, 9,999 damage is the easiest constant. If we were to do six 9,999 hits, that would leave us at 59,994. Uh, 64,543 minus 59,994 is 4,549. So we need to do six 9,999s, and then we need to do an additional 4,549. And there's a few ways we can go about this. Um, we could do question marks, which get, does the exact amount of damage based on how much HP you're missing. So we could set someone's HP to a certain number and then use question marks. Um, but the problem with that is you get a instant, you get a, a heal when you go from Genova to Bizarro Sephiroth. 
So we'd have to take the damage during Bizarro Sephiroth, which would be difficult. So um, that one's kind of out. We could do Coin Toss, Gill Toss, uh, which we should be able to find a value that does exactly 4,549 damage. Or we could use Choco Buckle as well. Um, which I believe is probably not affected by wall. But I say... Let's do Gill Toss. I think that would be more fun than Choco Buckle. I hate using Choco Buckle. So what do we want to do for our max dan our six hits of maximum damage. Is there any limit that does six hits? We could do a Tifa limit. Meteor Rain does six. That'd be pretty hard too. We could probably get away with Meteor Rain doing max damage though, especially if I juiced Cloud. So normally, Saber Sephiroth's uh, Supernova cannot kill you because it does percentage damage. In the Japanese version, it actually can kill you because it doesn't do percentage damage. Uh, most of Saber Sephiroth's attacks work differently in the Japanese version. And um, Supernova just does like 3,000-ish damage um, instead of the percentage damage. Uh, but the question was, if an enemy is in Lucky 7s, do their percentage moves also do, deal 7s damage? Um, and by extension, does that mean that a Supernova on the English version could actually kill you because it would do 7s damage? So that's what we're testing. You can't throw one's place digits. Is this a thousand? Yeah. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to have exactly the right amount of gill. Oh, but the final boss fights will give us gill, won't they? Looks like... No. At least Genova Synthesis doesn't. And Bizarro Sephiroth doesn't even have a victory screen, so... I think we're good. We just gotta not fight any of the fights up to... Up to the bosses. We got Knights of the Round. And then I'm just gonna pack us with a bunch of... Summon Materia, so we have less than 7's HP, there, so that it can actually kill us. We should be able to allow Bizarro, oh no, we can't, hmm, so we, we cannot kill Bizarro's head, or else it lowers Saber Sephiroth's HP. But if I use Knights of the Round on Genova right at the start, then she will. Then we'll get the, the three party Bizarro fight. Which will be pretty difficult to do without killing a head. Because, oh, like, I could just use Knights of the Round just immediately kill Bizarro, but that'll also kill the head once. And then we'll be 100 HP off. So, I'm thinking what I do is I allow Genova to have, I believe it's 16 turns. Is it 16? 12 turns. If we allow Genova 12 turns, uh, or actually I guess technically it's 13 turns, then we'll automatically get the, the one party fight. So we want to let her have 13 turns and then get her into Ultima uh, status and then use Knights of the Round. That's the plan. 12. Nice miss. 13. 
And now she has... I forget how much HP she has, but we gotta get her down to Ultima. There we go. So there's step one done. Now we gotta kill Bizarro without killing his head. <laughs> we did play D-Make. You see the, the playthrough of the D-Make we did? It was pretty wild. We even had the developer there. He gave us some developer hint, like a... Uh, secrets. It's a NES, NES version. It's pretty great. It's an actual NES cartridge as well, and it was sold in China as a bootleg. It was quote-unquote official. Like, an official company made it, but not with the, uh, you know, it was a bootleg. But a company actually made it and sold it in stores in China. It's pretty wild. Alright, uh, we gotta be a little tactful about this. So he's gonna start off by casting wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the wall right away. And then we'll use coin. And then we'll wait until pale horse to use meteor rain. Okay. Please do 4,500 whatever damage. Now we chill till Pale Horse. Alright. That should be it. Let's see what happens. As long as we do max damage. Oh, we didn't do max damage. No. I should have thrown hero drinks. Let's get it. Science project. Will it work? Will it blend? Throw an extra one just in case. Red 13. Oh no. He hit Red 13. Why? <laughs> Don't do it. You wouldn't do it. go if it's possible if we did all the math right and he started with max HP 400k then he should be at the right number so either we did our math wrong or it doesn't work if this doesn't hit sevens That's the math right there. That's the math we. <laughs> that's the math we had to do. This is a long moment or, moment of truth. This is a long hold. 
How crazy would that be if it was like 77%? Some weird... Weird code. It did 77% instead of 7s. Yes, normally this does percentage damage, so it can't kill you. Except in the Japanese version. This would be the first North American supernova to kill the party. <laughs> I'm sure somewhere somebody got unlucky and had this happen to him and just didn't know what happened. Here we go. There it is! It works! It works! So there's our answer. Even percentage attacks. Deal sevens. So he had... Uh, what was the number exactly? 335,457 health. And that's what caused... That's what caused the lucky sevens. So yes, it is possible. It does happen. And we were able to do it through actual regular means and not just by modding his HP. That is something I never thought I'd see. A lucky seven supernova. Heartless Angel, I don't think it would work for. Um, because he would, I believe that sets your HP. Not sure, actually. So I think he needs to take damage at some point I'm Captain to... Bosch. I'm Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg of Dalmasca. Don't listen to Ondor's lies. Um, to go into second phase. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set Safer's HP to 8,777 and then throw 10,000 gil at him. That way he activates his second phase, but he's also in Lucky 7s. There it is. All those 7s is so beautiful. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> We actually... <laughs> he actually does less damage with Heartless Angel. That's amazing. That is actually amazing. <laughs>